Hello and welcome to this tutorial with me Paul Hill from creativepsd.com. In this video I'm going to create a vector image of a tree using a reference photograph. I will start out in Adobe Photoshop to prepare my image before moving on to Illustrator to create the vector. This is a relatively simple procedure which utilizes some of the more powerful tools within Illustrator such as the image trace tool and the magic wand tool. At the end I'll be left with a realistic vector image which can be perfectly scaled for future use. So let's get started. So here we are inside Adobe Photoshop and I have already opened the image that I'm going to be using to create my vector and the first thing that I want to do is to adjust the brightness and contrast so there's a clearer distinction between the tree and the surrounding areas. So as you can see altering these values has quite a, a large effect and for the purpose of this I think if I adjust the contrast to 100% um, this should help to perform the image trace when we get inside Illustrator. So I'm just going to combine these two layers together using the Control, Alt, Shift and E on a Windows PC and then taking a large white brush just start brushing away some of the surrounding areas. Now the whole point of this exercise is to make the image trace a lot easier when we get inside Illustrator. This process can be quite intensive on your system so I want to try and make it as easy as possible. So let's just continue to brush away the last remaining bits. No need to be too pre precise here. Uh, just be careful not to delete any of the branches. OK, and the last few remaining parts. OK, and just that one last little bit there. OK, so we're now ready to take this image into Illustrator. So if we select all, copy and paste, and then open up Illustrator, um, name our new document and paste the image in. OK, excellent. So now that we're inside Adobe Illustrator, the first thing that we want to do is to vectorize our image. And we do this using the Image Trace tool. Now this is an extremely powerful tool and it allows you to create a vector image from a reference rasterized image. I'm just going to go ahead and select the 16 colors default preset. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the image and vectorize it. Now this can be quite intensive on your system and as you can see here it's um, it's taken away the my screen whilst it's doing so. Now there's no need to worry, it is doing it in the background and it is going to return once it's finished. So this is coming to an end now and when it's finished we're going to be left with a vectorized image which can be scaled to any size whatsoever. Okay, so what we have got here is one single flat image and what we need to do is to flatten the transparency so that we can see each and every individual path that has been created from the image trace tool. We do this from going from the object menu and selecting flatten transparency and as you can see we can now see every single path that exists on this image. So using the direct selection tool, which is hotkey A, we can go in and individually select each and every path within the image. So if I just zoom in and using the direct selection tool, I'm able to select each individual shape and basically delete them, leaving the branches isolated from themselves. But as you can imagine, this will be quite a long and tedious process. So we can use the magic wand tool, which if you select a color using this tool, it'll, it, re, it selects every reoccurring instance of the same color and allows you to delete it away, saving you a whole host of time. So in three simple clicks, have basically achieved what would take hours using the direct selection tool. So the only th remaining thing to do now is using the eraser tool is basically paint away or a raise away if you like um, the areas where the magic wand tool is not going to help me out because it's the same color as the branches so using the eraser tool we can simply paint away the areas that don't need to be there and give it a bit more of a realistic tree shape and again because we are working with vector images any um, paths that we do create will be smoothed out by the program one of the joys of Adobe Illustrator OK, so not much to do now. Um, if we can just paint away some of the areas which are floating in midair and obviously shouldn't be there. And then, OK, just 
zooming into there to make that a little bit easier. And then the last one. Okay. So now that all of these areas have been brushed away or deleted away, we're left with our final image and have a vectorized tree which can be then scaled for use within any project. So thanks for watching this video and I hope that you found it useful. Feel free to check out my website at www.creativepsd.com for more tutorials and design work. Take care.